When protecting a, a fuel loading rack, you can have many types of the Class B fires. You can have a spill fire, a fuel in depth, gravity fed, and also a pressure fire. That way there, you'll need an extinguisher that's capable of extinguishing all types of those Class B fires. The extinguisher we're going to be protecting this fuel loading rack is with an Ansel Redline Wheel Dry Chemical Fire Extinguisher. The extinguisher itself has an agent container holding 350 pounds of the BC dry chemical. And we have a fill cap on for ease of recharge. Another component is the nameplate. The nameplate gives you valuable information for the types of fires that the extinguisher is rated for. The first symbol is the class B symbol. That is the symbol for flammable liquids and gases. And the second symbol is the class C symbol meaning that you can apply this agent to an energized electrical hazard involved in a fire. Another component is a nitrogen cylinder that's used as the expellent gas to discharge the dry chemical out of the cylinder. It's going to discharge the dry chemical out of the cylinder into a one inch hose that is 50 feet in length. On the end of the hose we have a nozzle assembly that has a barrel to open up to the wide open position and a nozzle tip to give us our flow of dry chemical and our flow rate of dry chemical. To use this extinguisher on a fire, the first thing you would do is remove the nozzle from the nozzle holder. You want to ensure that you got a good grip on the nozzle and ensure that the bale is slammed home shut. The next step would be to open up the nitrogen cylinder to the wide open position and immediately you'll hear the gas transfer into the dry chemical tank. Then you want to run the hose completely off the extinguisher. Once we get the hose off the extinguisher, we're going to want to bleed the hose of the nitrogen. So we're going to go ahead, point the nozzle straight up in the air, get a good brace, open up the nozzle, bleed the hose of, of nitrogen, and that way there, when we open up on the fire, we're going to have a good solid stream of dry chemical. To fight this fire, what you need to do is you have to put the ground fire out first. To use the extinguisher on the fire, the first thing we're going to do is position ourselves 25 to 30 feet away from the fire and we're going to open up our nozzle and get our aim at the base of the fire. Once we get our aim at the base of the fire, then we'll establish our sweep. Once I get the ground fire knocked out, pushed back, then the next fire we're going to work on is the gravity fed. We're going to go up in the flow of fuel, staying in the flow of fuel and putting the fire out as we go up in the flow of fuel. The last fire we'll extinguish is the pressure fire. I'm going to introduce the dry chemical at the break. As the fire moves, I'm going to follow the fire all the way out until the fire is extinguished. Once the fire is out, we're going to shut our nozzle off and we're going to back away. At this time, I'd like to demonstrate the use of the Ansel Redline wheel dry chemical extinguisher on a live fire. We're at the Ansel Fire Technology Center. The fire we're going to demonstrate is approximately 250 square foot of flammable liquids. The extinguisher we're going to use is the Ansel Redline 350 pound wheel dry chemical extinguisher. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to the professional firefighter. Remove the nozzle from the nozzle holder. Make sure the bale is shut. Open the nitrogen cylinder to the wide open position. Remove the hose completely off the wheel extinguisher. Bring up a good solid stream of dry chemical. And then position yourself to fight the fire. Brace yourself. Open the nozzle. Make aim, establishing your sweep from side to side from the front edge to the back. Fire's out, shut your nozzle off, and back away.